Do you remember when you were young, the world was your oyster? We dreamed about everything and anything. Some of us wanted to be singers, some astronauts. Ever since I was very young, I kept the same dream for the next 20 years. I found my yearbook from when I was in 6th grade. We talked about what and who we wanted to be in the future. That dream stayed the same. That dream was to become a dentist. For those who are new here, my name is Yugi Yao. You can call me Zachary. I'm a second year, soon to be third year dental student at McGill University. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys my pathway that I took in order to get into dental school, which is one step closer to my dreams. So let's start with high school. In Quebec, we have five years of post-elementary school. So basically it's from sec one to sec five. I was in the IB program for all five years and basically I took the typical advanced math, chemistry and physics. That led me to my first stop in my pathway. So first stop, I'm here at the Cégep de l'Outaouais where I came here for two years. And here basically I studied sounds and natural or natural science in English. Here is basically where me and my friends used to study for anything and everything. And essentially for, let's just unpack everything about my program. So my program is basically the only health science program in the school. Anyone who wanted to go into healthcare or anything related to science, most people wouldn't have to go through this pathway. Okay, so basically for our program, we had the basic math, physics, chemistry that we all had to take. I think it's the same for any health science program. After that, in our second year, we had to choose between three choices. So either organic chemistry, calculus three, or statistics. And for us who wanted to go into health sciences, such as dentistry, medicine, pharmacy, we basically needed to take organic chemistry because that was one of the pre well, that is still one of the pre requirements for those programs. And we did have a couple of general courses, such as like French, English, philosophy, phys ed. That was my set up years, my two years here. It was very fun, very good, very quick. And essentially, so the important thing that I wanted to talk about for CEGEP is the R score, because R scores are basically the grades that, or the final grade that schools are going to look for when you apply to very competitive programs such as dentistry, medicine, pharmacy. So you really need a good R score to go directly from Sejab to university. So if you did not meet the required R score, you basically had two choices. One would be to stay in Sejab and do another deck or a technique to improve your R score. Or the second choice would be to go straight to university, do a bachelor's and improve your grades by getting a good GPA. And that's what I did. I came to UOttawa for a bachelor's in health sciences. So there are different reasons why I decided to come to UOttawa for my degree in health sciences. First reason, location, because it's in Ottawa, it's right beside Gatineau, so I would not need to move out. So that would save me on so much, so many expenses such as rent, and food. The only disadvantage was the long commute, which would take me around like one hour to two hours round trip to go well to come here or to go back home. But that was the price I was willing to pay. However, the tuition fee here at UOTO is definitely more expensive than any other tuition fees in Quebec universities. So that's definitely another factor that we have to consider. But fortunately, I had bursaries or end scholarships to minimize the cost, which definitely helped a lot and definitely pushed me to come to U Ottawa. And yeah, so second reason. So the courses, having gone through CEGEP, I realized that labs were not something that I really liked. Uh, so in terms of chemistry labs, biology labs, that's why I chose not to go into biomedical science as a major. That left me with a couple more options. So health sciences, nutrition, and also human kinetics. And health sciences was like the program that was the most broad in terms of program. Cause like nutrition and human kinetics were more specialized and more tailored to a certain profession. I just wanted to keep my doors open just in case dentistry didn't work out. And I need to find another program, such as like maybe medicine, pharmacy, but also like the professors here at Iwato were very supportive, very, very nice. So like whenever we had questions related to the classes or even just life in general, uh, they would be more than happy to answer our questions, which really helped me to 
figure out what I wanted because I was like asking a lot of questions if I wanted to be a teacher, if I wanted to go into healthcare, public health. That just made me able to narrow down what I would like if dentistry didn't work out. And, but yeah, so that's basically it for my second reason. On to the third reason. The French language, knowing that I wanted to be in healthcare, I knew that I wanted to maintain my level of French, just to be able to communicate well with my patients, basically target a broader patient population. At the Ottawa, they would offer the program in both languages, in French and in English. For our papers, we would be able to write in both languages, even if we decided to take, let's say, uh, a class in French, and we would still be able to write the paper in English, vice versa. And that just overall allowed me to continue to practice my French. So next stop, I'm here at McGill, and this is basically where I did my master's in physiotherapy. So why did I choose to do a master's in physiotherapy? Well, essentially, I didn't get into dentistry right after my undergrad. That's why during that summer after graduation, I did a lot of shadowing just for me to get to know more about dentistry, but also just to see the different specialties out there. So why did I choose physio and not any other masters, public health or epidemiology? I think for me, it was basically that I was doing many sports during university. I was doing nine to 10 hours of badminton per week. And then I was also running during spring and summer. I was really involved in sports. So that's why injuries were right around the corner. And I thought that it would be a good profession to be in well, for myself, but also to help uh, family and friends. The one thing I miss about physio is basically the knowledge because we learn so much about the human body and the different injuries that can happen in those different parts of the body. On top of that, we're learning how to like diagnose those injuries, how to treat those injuries. At the end of the day, this knowledge is still very important for us because we are going to encounter people in our daily lives that are gonna have like different injuries. Especially in dentistry, we're gonna have like back pain, neck pain. Basically our whole posterior chain will be affected. So that's why it's important for us to like know what exercises to do and just to make sure we don't injure ourselves. And that all led me to here, McGill's Faculty of Dentistry. And you may be asking, what's next? What are my future plans? My answer to that is that I have no clue. I can go in different ways. I can either go do a GPR or AGD and go into a specialty if I really decide to. For me, my next two years will really dictate where I'll be going. So is there like something that I really love about dentistry that I'm willing to specialize in? Or is there something that I don't enjoy as much in dentistry? And also it just depends on how confident I'll be in terms of seeing patients by myself as a recent graduate. The reason why I wanted to make this video is just to show you guys that it's okay, it's not the end of the world if you're not taking the traditional path to get into dentistry. There's so many of us that had to do other stuff before getting into dentistry. So some of us worked, some of us did masters, some of us did a bachelor's. If dentistry is your dream, keep on pushing, keep on trying, keep on working hard. And at the end of the day, it's gonna work out. And basically never give up on your dreams. Peace. So, however, <laughs> <laughs> we do, we do.